Hello, this is Dr. Priscilla. This is just a brief tutorial on how to speak with fluency. What I have observed from some of my ESL language learners is that there seems to be a rush in trying to say something. The problem with speaking in a very hurried manner is that most of what is being said is not being understood. It is quite true that many native English speakers speak very quickly. But as we speak quickly, we are enunciating most of the important words. Now, I will say the same thing in a faster tone. One of the things that I have observed about English language learners is that they speak in a very hurried manner. Most of what they say isn't clear because they have not learned how to enunciate or pronounce their words clearly. It is for this reason that I would like to explain the importance of speaking slowly to develop a rhythm. Once you have developed the rhythm and can pronounce your words correctly, the speed will come. Here is a dialogue between Natasha and Tony. I will read both parts, then I will record only the part of Natasha. And I would like for you to be able to speak the part for Tony. I will begin at the count of three. One, two, three. What time is it? We're going to be late. It's a quarter after seven. We're on time. Don't panic. But I thought we had to be at the restaurant by 7.30 for the surprise party. We'll never make it. There will, we'll never make it there with all of this evening traffic. Sure we will. Rush hour is almost over. Anyway, the party starts at eight o'clock, but I do need help with directions. Can you call the restaurant and ask them where we park our cars? Okay, although I did not read that correctly, I think it will be best for me to try again. Listen carefully. I will read as Natasha. What time is it? We're going to be late. It's a quarter after seven. We're on time. Don't panic. But I thought we had to be at the restaurant by 7.30 for the surprise party. We'll never make it there with all of this evening traffic. Sure we will. Rush hour is almost over. Anyway, the party starts at eight o'clock. But I do need help with directions. Can you call the restaurant and ask them where we park our car? There, I did that one much better. Now I will read only the part of Natasha. I'd like for you to practice reading the part of Tony. Remember to slow your voice down, enunciate the words correctly, clearly, and repeat this as often as you need to. Natasha, what time is it? We're going to be late. But I thought we had to be at the restaurant by 7.30 for the surprise party. We'll never make it there with all of this evening traffic. Thank you. Now that we've practiced the dialogue, I'm going to look at this picture and describe what is taking place as I see it. That is from my point of view. In this picture, I see two people in a car. Natasha is saying to the gentleman that she's concerned that they will be late for the party. The gentleman tells her that they're not going to be late. The party starts at eight o'clock but he would like for her to make a call to the restaurant and ask where should they park the car.
what I'd like for you to do is to record your voice and send the recording to me telling me what this picture is about. The link to send the recording to will be located at the bottom of this recording. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Priscilla. Bye for now.